A News 12 viewer says her family had a problem with debit card fraud. So if your card is stolen, should you notify your bank right away? Of course we know that, right? Mm -hmm. But what if you don't notice and it's been a few days, maybe even a week? News 12's Walt Kane is in your corner with what you should do. Maya says her 19-year-old daughter forgot her debit card at the gas station, and since then, her account was withdrawn for thousands. She went to police and filed a fraud claim with the bank, but after 10 days, they called back, said the case is closed, and denied it. Now, Maya, the big question is, how long did your daughter wait to report that card missing? Under federal law, if you contact the bank within two business days of the first fraudulent transaction, you're only responsible for $50. So if she did that, the bank would have to prove the charges were hers. Here's the thing, though. If you wait longer than two days, you're on the hook for up to $500. And if you don't tell your bank for 60 days after that first fraudulent charge, you're responsible for everything. Bottom line, even if you lose your card, even if you just think it's misplaced, ask for a temporary freeze or just get a new one. And always report fraudulent charges immediately, even if they're in small amounts. Meantime, David says he made an eBay purchase a while back and returned it, but has not gotten a refund. Efforts to contact the seller have proven impossible. Well, David, as you'd imagine, this is a pretty common complaint. eBay says you can ask them to step in if the seller doesn't make good, but you must make the request within 21 days of your refund request or 10 days of the refund deadline. If you feel like the system isn't working, you do have options. If you're paid by credit card, you can dispute the charge. If you use PayPal, you can file a claim or just dispute the charge with your bank. So the key to remember here, if the first approach doesn't work, try something else. Do you have a consumer question or a story I need to investigate? Call me at 732-738-KANE. Email Kane in your corner at news12.com or find me on social media. In your corner, I'm Walt Kane, News 12.